Hello people, my name is Fox, and wow it's been a while since I did a playing card deck video. As I said in one of the Keyforge videos, there's a Barnes and Nobles next to me that is closing down, so they're liquidating everything they have in the store. It's going pretty cheap, so I got four Theory 11 decks for about five bucks a piece. Figured I would show you guys them because they're all fancy. Three of them are sealed, and I've actually never even seen them before, so it'll be interesting to see what kind of decks these are. Let's start off with Citizens by Theory 11. Premium. Yeah, a lot of Theory 11 decks seem to be pushing some kind of vague, political-esque, communism agenda. Not sure why, or even if that's true. This deck is amazing, especially this back tuck case. Look at this. Look at that. It's all in embossed and colorful, and there's an eye in the center of the spade, which means, you know, Illuminati. Yeah, this deck is absolutely beautiful. I've been using it. Um, this one I bought uh, last week. Uh, the other three I got today, but this I bought last week just to give them a try, and they are, uh, they are beautiful. And my, my cardistry skills has gone a little shit, like that. So yeah, uh, these these cards are just absolutely beautiful. My one complaint though, uh, well, there's your back to fourth card. It's the aces are just normal aces with the exception of the spade. For some reason, every time this is this, every ornate deck always has like a fancy spade, and that's awesome, but. A lot of them also just leave the other aces to be normal, standard ace pips, and that's kind of boring. For instance, one of my favorite decks of all time, one that I use a lot, and I'm going to get another one of these because they have two more, is Contraband. And this is one of those, uh, this is one of those decks that actually do design the aces in different types. And even the pips are different. They're all, like, slightly faded, and it looks really cool. Look at that Joker! Look at that. Oh, was I getting ready for a trick with this? Why are all the aces stacked? That was weird. <laughs> I don't know. I think I might have been getting ready to do a trick with these or something. Plus, these, car these cards also. They're absolutely gorgeous. I fucked that up. As you can see, they have been going through some use because I like them. But aside from that one small complaint, these cards are great. They're absolutely fantastic, and I can't do a fan. Yeah, great feel, air cushion finish. They need to be broken in a little bit more. They're a little tough, um, and they come with this thing. I, I really don't like these. I know there's like a trick you can do with this. It's just, eh, I'd rather have a blank card. Blank cards are awesome because you can do things like this and then you can't see it. But if you have a blank card, the whole thing is blank and then it looks cool. And then, oh, they come back. Look at that. And then the minds are blown. But yep, that was Citizens. A very, very beautiful tuck case and a decent, decently beautiful deck of cards. Just, I just really love the tuck case though. Look at that. I want that on a shirt. God, that's beautiful. I want that on a play mat. Oh, that would be awesome. Now let's open a deck I've never seen before. It's called Project Red. I've never seen this one before. Let's take off this giant white spot. There you go. Product Red. Uh, it looks like something to do with smoking. It also could be for some kind of illness. It could have been like a charity deck of cards. And there's some kind of embossed message here. What does this say? Imagine a world without AIDS. Well, I guess that's the illness that I was... Okay, well, I guess that's it. Um, I remember it now. I remember the commercials now, actually. Yeah, Product Red. This was a, uh, an, uh, a I can't speak. This was an anti-AIDS campaign that I believe was successful because I remember seeing this everywhere. Um, so let's see if we can get this off. So I used to just take off, I used to just break into the um, uh, stamp seal, but now I've like found a way to kind of just take them off and put them on the front. I just think the stamp seals, especially, especially Theory 11 stamp seals, are very, very beautiful. So let's see if I can get this one off without damaging it too much. Okay, well, I can't actually get the stamp off, so we're going to have to cut into it. So this is how you cut into a deck. There you go, and then you just flatten it, and then boom! Opens like that. So here we have, what is it? Oh, they're just red cards. You know what? That's pretty cool, though, because I think I've seen these used uh, for magic tricks before, and having a flat red back is kind of cool. Oh, they're very good cards, though. Very nice finish. That's that's the best I can do. That's all right. See this. That's a nice. That's a nice. That's your Mario. We have zero. In 2002, more than 1,200 babies were born with HIV every day. Now that number is just 400. Together we can reduce the number of HIV plus babies born each day from 400 to near zero. Yeah, we gotta stop them babies. That was a tasteless fucking joke. <laughs> Got the two jokers. No joke. Let's probably have some message on it. Oh, it looked like a heart. Okay, so there's the ace of spades with a very off-putting red on the black spades. That's 
kind of weird. Um, let's look at the suits. Suits are pretty basic. Kind of nice though. And again, they don't do anything with the other aces. So there you go. Yeah, this just looks like a standard deck. Just um, with a message behind it, which is nice. It's a nice message. And it's a good deck of cards. I do like the solid back. These are useful in some way. And they feel great. They, you know what? They almost feel plastic. They almost feel like a very thin plastic card. Very, very good. Very nice. like the tuck case. Very, very nice tuck case. It's got the same tuck case as the, um, oh god, what are they called? The Artisans by Theory 11. The kind of cardboardy, but very good, good cardboardy kind of uh, embossed tuck case. Very nice. Let's move on to something with a little more levity, I, I think. Um, these are called Nationals, the green version. They come in green and red. I don't like red, so I got green. Deal with it. Um, National, like I said, a lot of Theory 11 decks seems ha seem to have some kind of vague political statement. I, maybe. These are another deck that I have not seen before, so I'm very curious to see what kind of design is in this. Uh, immediately, for some reason, it kind of feels like this tuck case is thinner. It's a lot thinner than this. Because I can feel the cards hitting... And look, it's a little damaged already. Although that might be whoever stacked these on Barnes & Nobles. Shame on you. Um, so they already kind of feel the tuck case is nice. It feels great, but it's already just kind of weird. So let's see if I can get this off. Yeah, these, these stamps are usually easier to get off. There's a way to do it with like heat. Like you just get like a hair dryer and you kind of heat up the sticker just to kind of get the glue off. But I think this should do the trick. It's got to be very slow. Is this an ASMR video? Ooh. Yep, and then you just kind of put the sticker, at least I do, put the sticker right here in the corner. And then just flatten that out, and then over time it just sticks there. And then you got some glue here that rubbed off. That'll, that'll get better with time. And there we go. If that's the back, I'm going to like it. It probably is the back. Oh, yep, there you see the damage on that. Going to have to bend this one out of shape a bit. Oh, look at that. That, that looks very Louis Vuitton. And already it's ripped. <laughs> oh, boy. All right, and yep, that's the back. That is indeed the back. Very nice. Reminds me of Monarchs. Very nice green hue, like a monarch. There's the Jokers, and the... Oh, that's nice. That is a very nice 3D effect for that snake. Please to Yeah, look at the pips! Oh, look at these pips! Look at that! Oh, these are beautiful. They... T oh, these are so nice. Here's a... Yep, there's the... um. Look at that! Oh, I'm getting another one of these. They have they have like two more over there. I'm so getting another one. Oh, these are so nice. Oh. oh, and they feel beautiful. Look at the bend. That's how you know a good bend. When it bends like that and it just snaps back. Oh, so nice. Let's see the fan. Look at that. These are absolutely like Monarchs. They're just so, so nice feeling. Nice stamp too. I am very impressed with these. Yeah, I might actually get the red ones. I usually don't like getting the different color decks because having one of these is good enough. But, like, it's... Look at that. Look at that. I love how small the pips are. The little dots. Yes! You know what? Let's do a Pharaoh cut. Because the best way to demonstrate a deck of cards is how well the Pharaohs cut. Oh, it's so nice. I am I'm sounding like a huge ass right now. I am... I am incredibly impressed with this deck. Uh, beautiful deck of cards. I have seen Theory 11 sell playing cards at Target. Like you, you can find these decks at Target now. They are full price, like $10. But if you're looking for a, just a nice deck, this is fantastic. The tuck case, kind of weak. Cause you can kind of tell that the, the flaps are kind of breaking off. And it feels very thin. But the cards are so freaking nice. Absolutely love this deck. Last Theory 11 deck for the video is this one. Which is called Union, I think. Yeah, Union. Um, again, vague political statement. Not really sure what, but it's Americana-esque. And I'm kind of hoping the cards are as nice as National because I am super impressed by that. Uh, is it, that look, that's a really nice seal stamp. U.S. made, Theory 11. Let's see if I can get that out. I'd actually like to keep that stamp. As I'm lifting it up, it's got some air in there. So there's a very small chance that we can actually get that off without breaking it. So let's see. Don't rip. Don't rip. Oh, maybe. Yeah, I got it. Very nice. Put that on the front. Union. Let's see what these are. So, oh, nothing under the tuck case, but that's okay. Don't need the crazy, crazy ornateness. Love that joker. Loving the turkey jo Oh, it's actually a turkey. <laughs> the turkey joker. And there's the ace. And, yep, the pips are a different style. Very nice font, which looks familiar. 
That three is kind of weird. But let's see if the kid... Oh, yep. There we go. Off design. Looks like historical figures of the U.S. Oh, uh, but look, the ace. The ace of diamonds is just a standard ace of diamonds. So, uh, yeah, these remind me of... What are they called? There's like a Civil War deck of cards you can get. And you got a double face card for some strange reason. There's the backs. Let's do a Pharaoh cut to test how good they are. I gotta look off the viewfinder. Nice Pharaoh cut. Now let's just do another pass through. And yep, they are completely full 180, 360 turnable. So very good. Very nice design. I'm more of a fan of the Nationals design. I just like the small pips so much. Um, These are pretty cool though. I'm sure these are historical figures. So you have a poison and a rose, queen of hearts. Queen of hearts is usually considered to be the killer queen along with the suicide king. So is she, who could she be? Uh, poison, uh, George Washington. She's George Washington. Uh, the ultimate high-end luxury playing cards, Theory 11, with a normal backing. So that can be used for something. It's Union, very, very nice deck of cards. Very nice deck of cards. So I have to say, in, in order of how much I like them, National on top, I would say the Citizens are the second, Union third, and then the Imagine Red on the bottom. I do like the uh, the product red ones. They're very, very nice as far as the backing goes. Very simple. You don't need too much of it. Um, but as far as $10 for this, because this was originally $10, I don't think it was worth $10. Personally, I think it's worth $5. Now let's get onto a deck of cards that I have heard being called the worst playing cards you can buy. Mavericks. Now these are different Mavericks. I actually can't find the original horse Mavericks, the ones that have like the horse on front of them. They sell them at Walmart for 88 cents. Just like these, these are 88 cents. And people call these the worst playing cards you can buy. These are far, far, far from the worst you can buy. Um, I don't know if there's the same quality as the original Mavericks. I kind of hope they are so I can prove a point. Um, but let's open these guys up. Same trick I told you, but there you go. So, yep, they are exactly the same quality as the original Mavericks. And look, the horse. The horse. Uh, yeah, people call these awful. These these are not awful. They're absolutely fine. They're 88 cents. These are the decks of cards you keep in a toolbox, you keep in your car, in your glove compartment, in your back pocket, at work, whatever. These are the type of cards you buy to play a game with. They're not great for doing magic tricks, although you could theoretically do some tricks with it. Okay, maybe not as well as I was hoping. They're not the worst. They're far from the worst. They're good. They're perfectly fine. And... You know, I don't understand why people rip on it so much. It's 88 cents for a deck of cards. You're not buying a Theory 11 deck. You're buying a $1 deck of cards. You want to know what actually are the worst playing cards you can buy? If you ever go to like, uh, a, if you ever see like those officially licensed playing cards, like the ones with Deadpool or the Marvel characters or like the My Little Pony playing cards, those play, like the ones in Hot Topic, they actually sell them in Hot Topic. Those are pieces of crap. Those decks are absolute shit. They're like $5, and the quality of the card is literally cardboard. Like, they stamped it out of a giant sheet of cardboard. These are finished. They're finished cards. They're not great for doing tricks. They don't really fan well. See, they're kind of uneven. And, you know, the printing quality ain't great. I personally like the back, but, you know, people hate it. And the horse head. His name's Steve. He's a cool dude. But at least these are finished. Like, these, you play a game with it. These are going to last a long time. You buy those cards, they ain't lasting a long time. They're, they're just ugly to me. Well, Mavericks, I think, are fantastic. So these are far from the worst decks of cards you can buy. These are perfectly fine, perfectly good decks of cards. Uh, along with buying some playing cards at Barnes & Nobles, I also bought some dice because, you know me, I got problems. Classic RPG dice set by Q Workshop. These dice are friggin' fantastic. I've been using them the past couple days, and they are great, great, great dice. They got some good weight to them. They were originally $6.95. I got them for half off. The white sticker of doom. So about $3, a little bit more for the die. Uh, not $3, yeah, about th uh, 3 something, three fifty. dollars Called classic. I don't know, this kind of looks like it's from Shadowrun, so I'm going to call these Shadowrun dice, even though in Shadowrun you use a D6, so. Whatever. Very nice. Got some good weight to them. Beautiful coloring, too. And the pips are readable. Come on, focus. They would be readable if the camera focused. There we go. The pips are, pips are readable. You can tell what you roll. It's a seven. One thing I like about them a lot, though, is the focus. God damn. Damn you, focus. There we go. The six and nine have different looks. See how that nine has a curved spine? 
See how that six has an inward curved spine? You can tell the difference. You actually don't even need the dot, but they still put it because they're cool. Yeah, you can tell when you roll a nine or not. See, 19. How perfect was that? Yeah, these are great. Um, they still sell these at Barnes and Nobles. You can find them. Um, I think they're worth seven dollars. They're, they're very, very good. They're great. Get them. Q Workshop. Also, Theory 11. Sponsor me. Please. I like you guys. Thank you. Hope you guys enjoyed this weird random video. I will see you later with more videos, but until then, don't play with knives. Unless they're fun, in which case, play with knives.